Hello guys, good evening. Good evening and welcome to day one of our Generative AI Masterclass. Can you see my screen? Am I audible? Is everything fine? Very good evening to all. Good evening. Good evening. Can I get some response in chat box? Hello guys. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, so welcome to day one of our Generative AI Masterclass. It's good to see all the responses in chat box. Very good. So please uh, continue this throughout our entire Masterclass internship. Okay. So once again, welcome to our Generative AI day one. Okay, so what do you know about Generative AI? Can I get some response in chat box? Can we start the session guys? Can we start yeah, generating new data based on real data, right? So we'll see a lot about generative AI and this is purely based on image based generative AI. Okay. So it will be a lot of fun and interesting. So let us see uh, some content, some introduction. So this will be purely an introduction session. Okay. Whether you know about generative AI or not, that's what we, here we are for, right? So we'll be seeing about the introduction for generative AI. So before starting that, we Pantech eLearning welcome you all to this masterclass. This is a first masterclass in 2024. Uh, I'm also excited with you guys to share this interesting topic. So we Pantech eLearning founded in 2004 and we share our 20 years of expertise via edtech platforms. So you could see our LMS platform or YouTube channel, our open source contents. Okay. And, uh, our goal is to help 10 million students to learn the technology in easy way and we are constantly doing it. Okay, we are taking step by step to achieve it. So we have a lot of 30 days on learning on Python programming, advanced Python programming, Python full stack, machine learning, artificial intelligence, data science, Java programmers, web development full stack and so on. We even have cloud computing, AWS and all like. We also have expertise on embedded systems, IoT using Raspberry Pi, computer vision, image processing using MATLAB and AI using MATLAB, MATLAB Simulink, EV design using MATLAB, renewable energy design and Amazon Web Services for cloud computing. Okay, so this is based on us. So what is AI then? So before if you want to learn about generative AI, you need to have some idea about what is AI and what is the building block of it and what is the contents inside of it, right? So can you guys tell me what is AI from your side? What is AI? Good evening, good evening all. Thank you for the response in chat box. Good evening everyone. So what is AI? What is artificial intelligence? Yeah, to make machines act as human. Very good. 
man made thinking power very good ganesh very good what is ai anything else from your side so we'll see making machines with human intelligence right yeah so artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence in machines okay it could be any kind like machines means in general it is computers so it aims to enhance computer learning reasoning and perception and nowadays you would have seen a lot of ai right uh, open source is available like chat gpt bard ai now gemini like from google right how many of you have seen it so they are improving its reasoning skills perception computer learning and all they are enhancing it so how is it achieved so what is this ai then ai can mimic human capabilities such as communication learning and decision making okay machines can respond it own self good it is basically making a machine think like human very good surya self aware machines very good very good guys you guys know a lot about ai okay so i hope this introduction on ai is nothing but to make computers or machines to think and act or behave like humans okay also you would have seen in lot of movies right so can you guys uh, any movie buffs can tell me some name of movies which uh, like it dealt with this ai have you guys seen those movies from hollywood so then what are applications of ai in real time any applications you guys know so this is the introduction session okay so i'll be asking you questions and you have to give some answers so from next session we'll be going hands on so in such cases i'll be doing all the stuff but this is going to be an introduction session yeah robot city very good iron man in iron man we have jarvis right that's an ai very good i robot age of ultron terminator and all you guys forgot yeah very good i got a terminator yeah right so we have lot of movies on it yeah real time application we have chat gpt very good yeah mission impossible last movie it was really good right so they have a ai which tries to kill or uh, take over all the government and all that's really was interesting so when you learn ai you can connect to it a lot and also we need to use ai in a good way right yeah editing apps now have ai even canva have ai dali yeah very good tesla very good that's what i am expecting so we'll see some applications of ai right now in healthcare okay so we'll see different domains of applications of ai so ai can help develop new drugs okay diagnose diseases and perform surgery even okay so in healthcare it has a lot of improvement nowadays ai can be helpful for developing new drugs so it is also a generative ai it's a different domain but still they can generate new drugs like the molecule structure and all okay so yeah i got some interesting comment here mimic singer's voice i hope you have seen it right so using ai they are making uh, politicians and all they are singing uh, the audio is now uh, it's very trending right yeah very good in healthcare particularly ai can help develop new drugs they can help the doctors to diagnose the diseases very early so that's what the interesting or useful thing right so this disease and all when you see it as soon as possible it's better to get the respective treatment and also it is they are trying to make it to perform surgery which with proper precision so that any human error can be neglected self driving cars i hope someone have uh, given in tesla uh, right in comment section uh, yeah cancer detect machine brain tumor detections and all nowadays is available so you could also create some projects with the basics you were learning in this particular internship anyway so ai plays a crucial role in autonomous vehicles enabling them to perceive their surroundings and make decisions and navigate safely this is an important thing you guys would have seen tesla driverless cars right even i i have seen in youtube uh, i i am following a person who is from uh, usa and uh, what he has shown us he has shown some uber car okay so it's uh, like uber is for uh, you can book and go to some places right so they are having it using ai so there won't be any driver so you can book a car so they could uh, drop anywhere so it will come you have to just uh, show your qr code or something and uh, you can go in it it was really interesting nowadays they have developed it and they are using it in real time maybe in future we will be having very soon in india also right so we are eagerly expecting so if you want it in india then 
we guys need to learn and you have to implement it you have to work on it right uh, india based companies can implement it because their surrounding is different our surrounding is different we need to create for our environment it's our okay so self driving cars particularly uses ai for navigations for uh, perceiving their surroundings and making decisions to navigate safely and uh, like this you guys so if you just go to youtube and uh, type for tesla auto driving cars you could see these things right so without driver it could map the surroundings and it can go safely it is working properly right okay it is available now and uh, how do they work as they have sensors and they have image like camera so from data from these are given to deep learning neural network from pytorch which we'll see later so that is helpful for the computation to analyze the surrounding and take decision what to do okay yeah and then virtual assistants like we have seen in movies like jarvis right so like that we have ai assistants like siri alexa and google assistant they are these are narrow ais okay so they have some predefined things so they'll match and they'll give you and apart from that they can't uh, proceed further so ai assistants like siri alexa and google assistant help users with tasks schedule appointments and provide information okay yeah if you like this session please provide some likes for this session guys i hope you are liking it yeah like jarvis and all we could tell it's a virtual assistant okay so once you learn ai you could build a virtual assistant for your own tasks it's possible okay and uh, yeah like alexa and all you could just give some prompt and ask it to do something or play this song and all it's av- av- available you could also buy it right and then in agriculture so ai can help farmers make quicker and more efficient decisions by collecting data about the conditions of the soil the weather and the appearance of the crops okay so in real time the application it is lot available so you could check internet okay what's the difference between gen ai and generative ai actually they both are same okay so just a short form we used to call it as gen ai okay generative ai is nothing but gen ai so just an abbreviation marketing so data science and marketing with the help of ai ai can automate advertising campaigns allowing digital marketers to publish ads across various mediums and reach a broader audience bases okay so it is ai is used in all the field okay you could take any domain now they are implementing ai so it's your time you may be from any domain but you have to think how you could implement ai in your domain so it will make you to grow in your own particular field whatever domain you belong to and uh, yeah regarding marketing and all it will be helpful for increasing the sales value ads and all yeah and then facial recognition so we have it uh, from previous like it has available for many years before right so it's one of the starting things in ai it is used in security systems for facial recognition enhancing authentication and access control and uh, recommendation system so ai algorithm analyze customer preferences and behaviors to provide personalized product recommendations okay yeah i could see an agricultural student so please learn the basics and try to research what is available in your particular field what are available things so if you if you look into it you will be getting some ideas to implement in your own field then you can sign okay uh, it like it is better to learn new skills and uh, try to have a unique for your right yeah for mbbs i have shown right so for healthcare we have lot of disease prediction prediction systems and all which you could create with the help of ai every domain it is available so yeah talking about the recommendation systems netflix recommendations okay ott platforms and uh, google recommendations and uh, most importantly when we talk about instagram and all okay so they analyze your pattern and the algorithm gives you the content which you like or prefer the most okay they collect all the data and they use ai and data science for particularly and their idea is to make you sit in your mobile okay so they want more screen time so they are doing it so ai works actually so if you are watching instagram for lot of time then actually ai wins okay yeah in defense sector it is used 
okay it may decrease in the human employment but there will be creation of more employment using ai right so any day yeah that's the thing okay ai, AI can replace lot of developers but who is going to create ai okay so that there must be a human who want to create ai so in the era of ai it will be good if you know about ai and if you are a ai creator then you can survive this right spotify recommendation instagram ads and reels youtube search recommendation very good guys vcom cs group i hope it is used for uh, like you could integrate ai with data science for predictions of sale values or uh, like what, what like stock and all stock prices can be predicted so it can be used management systems okay recommendations is based on it yeah sub field of ml i'm going to tell it later and uh, robotics so this is based on computer so what if you integrate with the hardware like ai enables robot to operate autonomously making decision based on sensors input and adapting to changing environment without constant human intervention right so like for example we have seen some movie robot or chitti right so they have these things available so when you integrate this ai intelligence with the hardware it can be useful for create robots like we seen in movie ai is used in cyber security for automatic detection and all yeah it is used for ddos attack detection and so on it is used and lot of hardwares with the robotics it is uh, developed right so a lot and lot of applications are there using ai and one more important thing recently we have successfully landed in moon right in chandrayaan 3 do you know that how ai played big role in uh, chandrayaan 3 and how it flew and landed okay so particularly the thing is if you guys know there was found a big crater and in that the rover which was landed was successfully able to detect it and change it its course okay so its motion was changed with the help of cameras and sensors it is detected and it is automatically retraced its path so if you guys remember they have tweeted that the rover has found a big uh, crater and then they have uh, retraced its path and so on so ai played a really important role in chandrayaan 3 also so that's it about the applications of ai you do, i hope you guys are yeah snapchat ai you can talk in all languages nowadays right in regional languages you could chat like you chat with your friend yeah so now ai is looking good okay so it's interesting so what is what all the building blocks of ai then okay so we have machine learning deep learning computer vision and natural language processing so if you understand these four then you can understand how ai works okay so ai is interesting but how do they work okay so that is actually if you want to understand it you need to understand machine learning what is machine learning what is deep learning what is computer vision and what is natural language processing so let us see one by one tell me guys what is machine learning tell me guys what is machine learning yeah ai is dangerous and not dangerous too so it's about how you use it and who uses it definitely in cricket i hope i want you to implement it can be done drs using ai we can automate everything right so precisely we can take out the human errors in that with the help of ai okay what is machine learning then so machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence okay it is one of the building block that focuses on the development of algorithms and models that enable computers to learn from and make predictions or decisions based on data so in machine learning we have data okay so this data i am going to give to my machine learning so it is going to learn and take decision on it so it's like making machine to learn or computer to learn okay machine learning is the core of ai yes so the fundamental idea behind machine learning is to allow computers to learn and improve their performance on a specific task without being explicitly programmed So, if you want to explicitly program, you have to write multiple conditional statement. Okay. Apart from that, if you want to make the computer to learn and take decisions based on it, you have to go particularly with machine learning. 
okay so this is what exactly machine learning is guys very simply you have data okay so this data could be any data i'll show you a sample data now so this data we will be analyzing it and pre processing it okay and then we will be giving it to some algorithm which is available in machine learning okay so this machine learning algorithm is nothing but a statistical tool it's just facts and statistics okay so it is going to perform statistics and learn from it so that later on if you give questions to it it is going to give some answers so that is the decision we are talking about and this is one of the very basic part of ai without machine learning we can't have ai without machine learning we can't have deep learning or natural language processing or computer vision so very basic thing in ai the first step is machine learning okay so this is a sample data i hope you can see it this is a data set okay so the, the data for machine learning will be like this it will be in numbers and text representations okay and we will be having columns and rows okay for example if you have a medical data for example like heart disease data in that case you will be having what's their age what's their blood pressure and so on here it's a used car data set we have car name okay we have year we have present price what's the fuel type so this is data this is just data and here we will be using it for predicting their price now okay so this is the price so like this we have different data sets available so that data will analyze and process so as i told you earlier our machine learning algorithm is a statistical model so it can perform statistics only on numbers so if you have text what you will do is you will turn it into numbers with using some way we will encode it okay so in such way what happens is you can give and perform machine learning so that is machine learning so in machine learning we have different types so just i'll tell you some introductions here we have supervised learning we have unsupervised learning and we have reinforcement learning okay so these are three types of machine learning so in supervised learning what happens is we have a data which is labeled okay which means see here we have different parts here okay with different shapes and we have some labels for it okay so if this is the shape this is called a circle if this is the shape this is called a square if this is the shape this is called as triangle okay i'm going to tell my computer that these are different categories i have and these are their names and i have a bunch of data just learn it so my model will now be used on based on statistics it is going to learn it and once it is learned when i want to make predictions or make it to provide some decision i am going to give some input and ask my model to find what is this or my algorithm what is this particular shape it is going to tell me it's circle because it has learned on it right it has learned on it so that is what called as supervised learning and in supervised learning we have two different types one is called as classification another one is called as regression so in classification you are going to classify either this or that or something like here either circle or square or triangle so we have cold or hot that is called as classification what if you are going to use some data set which has the humidity what is the rainfall what is the atmospheric pressure and all all these data and then finally you have some label which is called as cold or hot so based on it if you predict whether the temperature is going to be cold or hot that is classification we have a different type like sales value or what is the particular temperature numerical value okay a continuous value then it is going to be called as regression okay so we have two different types one is called as regression another one is classification and we have another type of machine learning which is called as unsupervised learning so this is used in lot of places in marketing and all so what is the idea behind here is we have unlabeled data so you have a data which don't have any labels okay so you are just going to give you give it to your algorithm so that guy what he is going to do is he is just going to classify them based on the similarity like these two looks similar these two looks similar and these two looks similar and these three looks similar okay they are going to find its difference and that if you have a data which is unlabeled that is called as unsupervised learning okay and finally we have another interesting thing which is called as reinforcement learning and this is used in game based and so on so in reinforcement learning we have a agent and we ask the agent like a player a computer or a ai to play 
okay so it is going to perform some action in a particular environment for example if you want to like consider a mario game okay i hope many of you guys have played mario and we have a ai for that and we know that when the mario walks there will be some downfalls right so whenever it have or detect some enemies it want to jump okay so this is the state and this is the action it is going to perform initially it will fail and when it fails i will be giving a reward which is very less so it understands the action it is done is not good so over time what it does is whenever it finds some uh, like defenses it is going to just jump over it and on that when it performs some correct task i am going to give a reward which is high so based on it it will learn so this is reinforcement learning so over time it it will learn to improve on its own okay positive action gets reward very good very simple very simple definition very good so that is that's it about machine learning so what is then deep learning machine learning deep learning what is that any idea what is deep learning guys in chat box very good i am very happy to see all the answers for you from you guys in chat box so please keep it from day 1 till the end okay from till day 21 i need this energy from your side so what is deep learning then deep learning is a method in artificial intelligence so this helps furthermore it is boosting the ai how so that teaches computers here also the computer is going to learn but instead of your machine learning algorithm it is going to do some different process that is inspired by the human brain how our brain works it is going to do the same it is going to mimic the same very good guys very good neural network and all automatic feature extraction so the deep learning models can recognize complex patterns in pictures text sound and other data to produce accurate insights and predictions so as we have discussed earlier okay so in machine learning we have a data which looks like this if you have a image data if you have uh, like audio data you can't go with machine learning and survive in it so you have to go with deep learning which is inspired by the thinking of human brain so here what they use is instead of algorithms they are going to do something known as neural network okay so in our brain we have neurons and network of neurons right called as neural networks here also they have a bunch of neurons and a network for it so here the data is analyzed and pre processed and given to neural network it is going to perform the same learning and prediction but in a much improved way like how our human brain thinks and this is a sample of neural network guys see how the connection is there okay so it is going to improve and learn on its own and over time it is going to improve itself okay so that is what is deep learning is okay so this is the summary of artificial intelligence a basic block is machine learning and some advanced version of machine learning is called as deep learning okay so a subset of ai is machine learning and a subset of machine learning is deep learning i hope it's clear then what are those two guys we have already discussed about some building blocks right machine learning deep learning is fine then who is this computer vision and what is this natural language processing i hope you can guess from the title itself can we explain this so computer vision vision means vision from iron man movies right uh, sorry it's from marvel movies right so this vision is different vision is eyesight right vision okay so computer vision is a field of ai that enables computers and systems to derive meaningful information from digital images videos and other visual input data okay so your data if it is a image based data like tesla cars and all will have cameras right how are you going to work on it so for that you need computer vision that data to work on that data once again if you are going to build ai machine learning and deep learning is going to be the deciding authority or the brain but you for your ai what all you need you need eyes for your computer right so to see the world so for that you have computer vision so if ai enables computer to think or if machine learning or deep learning enables computers to think then computer vision enables them to see and observe and understand the data okay learn from images very good guys seeing computer daily nice 
So here we have image or video data which can be analyzed and pre-processed based on computer vision and then we can give it to neural network so that if you give a new image you can make predictions or take decisions on it. Then what is called as natural language processing? I hope many of you guys can predict what is this natural language processing. So that's what used in chat GPT and all. Okay, natural language processing means also called as NLP refers to the branch of AI concerned with giving computers the ability to understand the text and spoken words in much way human beings can. Okay, like we discuss, okay, we have text, we are discussing some sentences, right? They have meanings. So the raw data cannot be used in machine learning. So we need to use NLP techniques to make computers understand what we are talking, what we are speaking, text pre-processing and all. Yeah, very good. So NLP combines computational linguistics, rule-based modeling of human language with statistical machine learning and deep learning models. So together, these technologies enable computers to process human language. Okay. So nowadays it is implemented in most of the languages like translators, chat GPT and all, BAD, AI, Gemini. They use this human language, they analyze and pre-process and that is given to neural network and they can make predictions or give you results like that. Okay. So that's it the introduction about AI. So now your AI has brain, it can see the world, it can listen and understand from you, right? So all those are fine. Then what is this generative AI is? Okay. So I hope the introduction for AI we have discussed till now. Now what is generative AI? So we have a vast amount of data, right? Different varieties of data of text, audio, okay, images, numbers, all these data. So this generative AI is a type of AI that uses algorithms and neural networks. Here also we are going to use deep learning and neural networks to create new content from existing data. Okay, so now Instead of making your AI to just decide, you are going to make it creative. Okay, so you are going to give some important property of human being. Okay, we are very creative, right? So you are going to make AI to create new data. So if you are going to build an AI which mimics the human, you need to see the world, you need it to understand, you need it to take decisions. But decision is not enough, right? So you want to be, to be creative, okay? So that creation, that power is given with the help of generative AI. So in generative AI, it learns patterns from training data. Okay. So if you give a bunch of data, it is going to learn it and it is going to just copy or mimic it somewhat new. Okay. It is going to create new data from it with the same statistical properties in mathematical term. So it can produce various types of content, including text, imagery, audio and synthetic data. So that audio and all, you would have seen some politician voice or your famous singer singing some different songs, right? So that is based on generative AI. Okay. A chat GPT uses generative AI. AI based image generations are from generative AI and synthetic data can be also generated. So these are some of the image based like uh, art generators, remove objects with AI, image enhancers, logo generators, image tools, remove background with AI, upscale photos and art, colorize photos with AI. These are from generative AI. Okay. And uh, the image generative AI models will be exclusively learning these in this internship, which is generative adversarial networks, also called as GANs and variational autoencoders. These guys are responsible for creating new images. Okay. And what is then in chat GPT? In chat GPT, we have something known as also called as large language models, the text generative AI models. So that are also called as transformer models like BERT or GPTs, chat GPT. Okay. And Google Bart is also coming under large language model. And I hope you guys would have seen from Photoshop, if you write some description and click generate, it is going to generate the same. Okay. Like pet alley at night, it is going to generate it. Okay. So generative fill, like do jungle here. Okay. And then build a pond here. If you click and uh, it is going to create it. So the same is applied in DALI, mid journey and stable diffusion and all. These are text to image generating models. Okay. 
so we have image based models okay so these are image based models and these are text based models and these are combinations okay dali mid journey stable diffusion and all so we have a prompt here see here alone astronaut on mars mysterious colorful hyper realistic so these are from different models they are generating right so these are some advanced versions of generative ai you can't learn everything in a single day or on a single month but if you want to take a first step towards generative ai you could start using this road map so i'll be telling you the road map and how we are going to learn in this particular internship and before that if you want to join as a internship user on this generative ai master class for internship users it is going to be 30 days and one month internship you can join as a internship user and convert this as a internship okay so you will be getting lot of benefits from our side so let me tell you so in this internship for internship users alone we will be getting 30 days of live sessions 90 days of access to these records 10 plus source code projects their code files data sets output files and all 30 downloadable ppts six mentor live in mastermind zoom session so in this zoom sessions it will be happening every weekend and you can directly interact with me and clarify your doubt okay so in zoom sessions you can get support you can talk to me directly you can get clarify your support you will be having six zoom sessions once you join this internship you will be getting internship confirmation letter and internship certification by the end of your internship it's a one month internship so 21 days of generative ai apart from that we are going to give 9 days of machine learning basic contents so they can start from machine learning and continue with generative ai or if you are comfortable you can directly start generative ai and this 30 days of sessions all these benefits is availed for internship users and if you want to avail this and join as a internship user you can use the link which is given in the chat box okay so if you click that link the original fee is 1700 and the discounted fee for a few days is going to be 899 so if you want to get it in the discounted fee the link is posted in the chat box you could use it and join our one month internship and get certified on generative ai it is one of the important field nowadays so certificate in that particular field will boost your portfolio right so the fee for it is 899 it's a small investment from your side for your career which is going to really boost your linkedin profile and your resume okay so the link is available in chat box so we'll be having a lot of contents based on image okay so you can't learn all the image text and text to image in a single day so this is a first step towards generative ai you need to learn pytorch to build the deep learning networks you need to build deep learning projects here in the first 10 days using computer vision and image based projects will be done and the next half is going to be the really interesting part where we'll be discussing about gans and variational auto encoders which are image based generative ai models so we'll be having hand written digits generation using gan realistic face generation with dz gan on celebrity data set so once you learn this if you have your own local celebrities you can take their data and you can generate a new face based on their face okay high quality artwork generation conditional image generation on fashion data set image to image translation generating artistic images image resolution enhancement progressive high quality faces and a project with variational auto encoders so for all these projects If you join as an internship user you will be having the downloadable codes model files data sets everything will be given to you with ppt and all and also you will be getting the zoom session for clarifying your doubts tensorflow is a weak okay so you can't you can do with tensorflow but tesla and all uses pytorch so pytorch don't worry if you don't know about it we will be having few days on pytorch okay so pytorch is a major tool we will be having Yeah, thank you for your uh, comments, guys. Later on, I'll tell you what's the roadmap and what is the pathway and agenda we'll follow once again. So this will make you to learn the basics as well as the generation of image. And next month we are going to conduct generative AI for NLP or natural language processing. So if you learn this and join that later, you can become a pro in all field of generative AI, right?
and yeah so this is the link the link is posted in chat box you can get it in a discounted fee of 899 fine so what is the roadmap okay so if you want to learn this generative ai you have to be well known in deep learning don't worry i'll be covering deep learning from the base and then you have to have idea on pytorch pytorch is really important and pytorch is a library which is based on python it's very simple and it is used for creating neural networks to mimic the human activity or human brain and since we are going to work on image you need to have some understanding on computer vision and once you learn all these things you need to learn about this generative adversarial networks so that you can write your code and then create or generate images or create ai for generating images so i'll explain briefly about our 21 days agenda so in day 1 we are discussing about introductions and also i'll be discussing about installation of pytorch with that i'll wind up this session so please wait okay so pytorch basics on day 2 we will be discussing the basics of pytorch like tensor creation reshaping device handling with gpu and all on day 3 we are going to discuss the deep learning concepts on neural network activation function optimizers loss function and so on on day 4 we will be having session on creating basic neural network with pytorch on day 5 we will be discussing a project with pytorch a deep learning project best breast cancer prediction using artificial neural network on day 6 we are going to use a project which is a regression based on deep learning flight fair prediction using artificial neural network so till this you will be having some basic idea till day 6 you will be getting some good idea on pytorch and deep learning so next step from day 7 to day 10 it is going to belong to computer vision so introduction to computer vision computer vision tools in pytorch and open cv introduction to cnn in pytorch convolutional neural network and then on day 10 we will be integrating everything you have learned to discuss about plant disease detection project using convolutional neural network with pytorch once this is done on day 11 from day 11 onwards the next days are going to be the application and creation of generative ai starting with introduction to gans then simple gan for handwritten digit generation dc gan for realistic face generation w gan for high quality artwork generation c gan for conditional image generation pix to pix gan for image to image translation style gan for generating artistic images image resolution enhancement with sr gan progressive high quality faces with pro gan and introduction to variation auto encoders and image generation using variation auto encoder Yeah so i think it's time for us to see the introduction of pytorch and then we'll jump into installation of pytorch and with that we'll wind up this session for today okay please wait guys till i haven't winded up this session okay so talking about pytorch what is pytorch okay pytorch is an open source machine learning library used for developing and training neural network based deep learning models so we know what is deep learning and what is neural network So if you want to create it you can use pytorch it is a open source deep learning bar machine learning python library it's a based on torch and since it is based on python it is pytorch so pytorch is widely used in the research and development of artificial intelligence applications including natural language processing computer vision deep learning and so on it is actually primarily developed by facebook's ai research group and pytorch provides seamless gpu support for accelerating deep learning computations through cuda integration and automatic parallelization it is very fast okay so what are the uses of pytorch then pytorch is extensively used by researchers and developers for prototyping experimenting and implementing state of art deep learning models and pytorch uses core python concepts like classes structures and conditional loops and a lot more intuitive to understand if you go with tensor flow they would have already created it you are just going to import it and use it so as a researcher you won't be having much of experimenting with it so if you want to do the experimenting and research pytorch is a best tool because you are going to build all the model based you will be given neurons you are going to build the network you are going to play and tune it okay so another interesting thing tesla uses pytorch okay 
Tesla uses PyTorch for analyzing routes in autopilot mode. Okay, ChatGPT uses PyTorch for building the large language model. All the AI nowadays you see are built on PyTorch. Now tell me guys, are you going to learn TensorFlow or PyTorch? They both, TensorFlow is another library for deep learning, but still PyTorch is the one which is really used in a lot of real time application. Okay, many companies, okay, they use PyTorch for their deep learning model. So if you learn this, okay, just go guys, just go into LinkedIn and search PyTorch, okay. So you'll be getting lot and lot of AI based job recommendations just for the word PyTorch. Just try it guys, just try it, okay. Yeah, so coming into the coding part now the installation, what is IDE integrated development environment? This is a place where you are going to write your code and for this generative AI internship I am going to use like different different uh, IDE because we need to utilize GPU and it is available in open source in lot of free places. I will be sharing, so over time I will be giving introductions to different IDE, mostly they will be in the notebook format. So mostly I'll be preferring Google Collab, Jupyter Notebook and Kaggle Notebooks. Okay. So please note it down and I hope the very simple you can avail is Google Collab. Just you have, you need to have a Google account, a Gmail account and then you can use Google Collab. And sometimes I may go with Jupyter Notebook or Kaggle. It's like for example, nowadays companies, they are asking what all ID you are familiar with. Okay. Uh, they are asking whether you are familiar with this one or that one. So it's better to know. It's they are very easy and general, so it is better to learn and very good in everything, okay? And yeah, so starting with PyTorch installation in this Google Collab, it's going to be very simple, okay? So you can use pip install torch. So let me go into Google Collab. First, you need to connect it. So let me just use this exclamatory mark, which is nothing but run this code on command line interface. I'll go with pip install torch. Okay, pip is a command for python for installing libraries. So let me run it. This is the run button. So do you guys know how to use collab? First you have to go into the google and type collab. Okay, welcome to collaboratory. And it will suggest these things. If you don't have anything, just click on this new notebook. And this page will be available for you where you can click the code and new cells can be opened. Okay. And once you go inside of it, just click this connect button, connect it. And then you are ready to go. Once you get a green mark here, you are ready to go and run your code. Okay. Yeah, now it's ready, right? So you can go and we'll do the classical thing, print hello world. So for the next few days, I'll be using Google Collab. So please make sure you are trying to use it. Just try to do this. Using command line interface, I'm going with pip install torch to install PyTorch. So if you want to install in your local system, then you have to go with PyTorch installation. Okay. So if you type it, you can go with PyTorch website. They have a command for start locally. Okay. So if you have GPU and all, I'll tell you later on when we learn about GPU, how to integrate with PyTorch, you need to install NVIDIA and uh, CUDA drivers for it. And uh, you have to select your versions here. For example, what's the version of Windows or Mac or PIP, Python, what you are going to use. And if you select it, this is going to change. Okay. So once you have it, you can just copy this and run your command line interface. So you install it locally. Or if you are using Google Collab like me, you can install it in this way. So once you installed it, let us go and do this process of importing it and just checking the version for today. Okay. I'll be winding up with this guys. Don't worry. So let us go and import torch, import torch and I'm going to check the version of it. Okay. Torch dot double underscore version double underscore. Okay. This is the version I have installed in my system. Okay. So this is the basic thing. So in the next session, what we are going to do is. In day two, we are going to learn about PyTorch basics and then deep learning basics and then so on. Okay. Python is very easy to learn and it is important. So that's it guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the good comments. Okay.
and if you want you can also join as an internship user okay so all these code data sets downloadable ppts and all will be given for the internship users so you can join as an internship user you can join as a internship user the link is provided in chat box so along with machine learning basics you will be getting 30 days with generative ai content projects downloadable pptis source code internship confirmation letter and internship certification so it is going to boost your resume a certificate on generative ai okay so it's a new technology you can't find this in lot of open sources okay so join as a internship user the fee for it to register is 899 please join using the registration link which is provided in the chat box thank you so on day 2 we will be learning the pytorch basics so let us see on day 2 thank you guys thank you thank you guys thank you for your wonderful comments thank you yeah just basic understanding of any pseudo code or python is very useful otherwise it's just python is very simple and also we are not going to use any complex coding task here we are going to just use the basic of loopings and conditional statements and work with it okay thank you guys thank you tomorrow everyone please join assemble here i'll be waiting for you guys thank you thank you for your good words thank you we'll see tomorrow on day 2 on pytorch basics thank you